Hello, Valkru and gamers. Today, I will be sharing my irradiated sugar bomb route, which includes up to 50 world spawns. There are two types of sugar bombs in this game, one with radiation and the other without. Unfortunately, the sugar bombs with no radiation cannot be used in recipes like sunshine oil, sweet roll, and especially brain bombs. I use sugar bombs mainly to craft brain bombs since it adds intelligence which translates into an XP bonus. Brain bombs by itself adds 3 intelligence. The herbivore mutation doubles that value to 6 intelligence. The stranger numbers perk under charisma while being on a team with a mutated teammate increases that value by 25% so it goes up to 7.5 intelligence. And finally the magazine live and love 3 increases that value by 50% bringing that value up to 11.25 intelligence. In total, the 11.25 intelligence will grant you a 23.31% XP bonus since one intelligence gives roughly 2% XP bonus. Each brain bomb lasts for 90 minutes, but it takes 3 radiated sugar bombs, 2 mothman eggs, 2 purified water, 3 brain fungus, and 1 wood to craft. Thus, this video will help those that are trying to increase their supply of radiated sugar bombs. I'd like to mention a few things. I am sharing footage of spawns that I saw over one week's time. These are not every spawn in the game. Some of these spawns are shared with other pre-war food, so you may see canned dog food or instant mash instead of radiated sugar bombs. There is no guarantee that the sugar bombs will appear for you due to someone picking it up earlier or it hasn't spawned at all in the current world you are playing on. This video was made in 2020, so some of these spawns may be irrelevant in the future due to the chance that the locations in the game may be altered over time. I also recommend running with the marsupial mutation. The extra mobility will help you access the spawns quicker in order to save time. With that being said, let's get to it. We begin at Toxic Valley at Crafton. On the northern side, the sugar bombs are inside the gas station. Watch out for the traps, and you will also need to pick the lock to open the front door. At the Eastern Regional Penitentiary Dining Hall, there is a connected storage or docking area where you may find the sugar bombs on a metallic shelf. Moving on to the forest, we start at Vault 51. To the left of the vault door, the sugar bombs are inside of one of the broken lockers. There are two sugar bomb spots I found at Point Pleasant. The first is in the building opposite of the Mothman Museum. You will have to use a construction or scaffolding to access a hole in the wall. And inside, you will see it on the desk next to a safe. The second location is in the church on the metallic shelf. At the Gorge Junkyard Workshop, the sugar bombs will be found in the kitchen on the first floor of the house. Five sugar bomb locations can be found at Morgantown. One will be on a shelf in the Red Rock and gas station. In Edda's side, they are located in the kitchen on the second floor.
around Super Duper Mart, one can be found on the shelf. During the event, back on the beat, one is located on the shelf in a room with the first stop. To the next destination. In Mama Dolce's food processing, it can be found on top of a large shelf left of the caged room on the first floor. At Flatwoods, the two popular spots for sugar bombs are in the steeple of the church and on top of the roof at the southern gas station. At Hill Folk Hot Dog, sugar bombs are found in the kitchen on the right side trailer. At the New River Gorge Bridge West, the sugar bombs are in the room behind the locked door under the bridge. The key to the store can be found at Camden Park on the roller coaster. You may find one on the metallic shelf next to the power armor workbench and the storage room as you enter. At the giant teapot, the sugar bombs are located on a shelf in the Red Rocket gas station. At Summersville, the sugar bombs can be found in the storage room of the Southeast Diner. At the overlooked cabin, the sugar bombs are found in the kitchen on the first floor. At the Summersville's dam, the sugar bombs will be found in the yellow crate inside a broken boat. At the Hornwright headquarters, the sugar bombs are located on a metallic shelf in the building next to it. It is shown here behind the wooden staircase while ascending the building. Moving on to the ash heap, we start at the Charleston Landfill Workshop. 
The sugar bonds will be located on the shelf of the kitchen in the left side trailer. At Cell's Grinders, the sugar bombs are located on a metallic shelf in the kitchen of the first floor. At Welsh, the sugar bombs are on top of a broken refrigerator in a house behind the post office. At the Pleasant Hill Cemetery, the sugar bombs are inside the mausoleum. You may have to use a grenade to get them unstuck. We entered the Savage Divide for number 25's location. At Johnson's Acre, the sugar bombs are inside a metallic refrigerator in the cabin. At Lake Eloise, the sugar bombs are found on the ground next to the sleeping bag around the camp area. At the seating overlook, the sugar bombs were found on the floor in the cabin with an antenna. Ah, I don't like the fog. Even just a mist makes it harder to see. The foundation might be coming along, but we got a lot more work to do. At the mountainside bed and breakfast, the sugar bombs can be found on a counter in the second floor eating area. There are five sugar bomb locations at White Spring. The first is in a kitchen located on the bottom level of the golf club. The second is just north of the golf club. It's past the historical house and will be on the floor to the right of the two handprint scanners. The third is far west on a picnic blanket around a Nukashine spawn.
The fourth will be on the table in the employee lounge around the parking lot. And the fifth is on a wall shelf behind the bedroom door located in the fire station. At the new Appalachian Central Train Yard, the sugar bombs are located in a wooden box inside an orange train car just outside the warehouse. At Hopewell Cave, the sugar bombs are in a wooden box at the ledge above the entrance. At the Pumpkin House, the sugar bombs are on a cabinet on the second floor. There are three sugar bomb locations at the Red Rocket Mega Stop Workshop. The first is on the roof of the building next to the big sign. The second is next to a sleeping bag in a bus located on the southern side parking lot. The third is on the shelf in the service station. At the Palace of the Winding Path, the sugar bombs are found on the table in the dining hall. Moving on to the mire, there are two sugar bomb locations in Dolly Sods. The first is on the shelf in the Quest Giver's cabin. The second is on a counter in the Western Cabin kitchen. At Mosstown, the sugar bombs are in a bathtub in a shack located on the western side.
At Berkeley Springs, the sugar bombs are on a shelf in a shop that is almost blocked by a school bus. At the Harper's Ferry Armory, there are two sugar bomb locations. The first is found inside the guardhouse of the armory. The explosions of the mines may shift the location of the item. The second location is on the desk at the second level of the armory. At the burrows, it is on the table towards the end of the pump station. At Tanegra Town, the sugar bombs are on a rolling metal utility table in the warehouse with a locked door. The access code is 748250. Moving on to the Cranberry Bog, sugar bombs are inside the bus north of the abandoned bog town. And lastly, at Big Ben Tunnel, sugar bonds can be located in a locker on the upper level of the maintenance area. As said before, these are not all the locations. You may also loot them off enemies, find some in food containers, and buy them off NPC vendors. I provided a link to the red to post the potential spawns in the channel description. You may also use the comments down below to share more areas. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like to increase the popularity of the content so others may discover this. For future Fallout 76 videos, subscribe and turn on notifications to be alerted of the latest uploads. You can catch me on Twitch at 10pm PST where we run nukes and do public events with a PC Fallout 76 community. If you want to add me to your social menu, let me know in the comments of the video or during the live stream on Twitch. Connect to the Valkyrie Gaming Discord server to trade, socialize, and stay informed. I am also on Twitter where I follow all gamers back. Until then, I appreciate you coming through. Video dismissed. Arix offline. Bye now.